daily devotion for St. Patrick's Day, Wednesday, March the 17th. We are going to look at Psalm 5, and it goes like this. Hear my words, Lord, consider my groans. Pay attention to the sound of my cries, my King and my God, because I am praying to you. Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I lay it all out before you. Then I wait expectantly. Because you aren't a God who enjoys wickedness, evil doesn't live with you. Arrogant people won't last long in your sight, and you hate all evildoers. You destroy liars. The Lord despises people who are violent and dishonest. But me, I will enter your house because of the, your abundant, faithful love. I will bow down at your holy temple, honoring you. Lord, because of my many enemies, please lead me in your righteousness. Make your way clear, right in front of me. Because there's no truth in my enemies' mouths, all they have inside them is destruction. Their throats are open graves, their tongues slick with talk. Condemn them, God. Let them fail by their own plans. Throw them out for their many sins because they've rebelled against you, but let all who take refuge in you celebrate. Let them sing out loud forever. Protect them so that all who love your name can rejoice in you. Because you, Lord, bless the righteous. You cover them with favor like a shield. It's such a all-encompassing psalm, and it really talks about um, the desire for God to be an all-consuming part of our lives. That when we pray to God, when we are praying, when we have an attitude of prayer throughout our day, then we know that God is present, and we know that God is intimately involved with all aspects of our day. And so we pray this psalm in the morning like the psalmist who wrote it, we pray it in the morning because we want day, our day to start off with God being present, being there, being with us in our day. Now, there's some things in there that might make us uncomfortable. You know, the praying for God to hate our enemies um, and, and that God hates deceitful people and violence and things like that. And I think to an extent, God does hate those things. God hates those actions, but God doesn't hate those people, right? There's a difference between who people are and the things that they do. And so the psalmist often prays for things that are not great for them, for um, things to be thinking or saying or doing. But, but God, he knows, the psalmist knows that God interprets and hears and thinks um, for better things, for righteous things. And it just takes us time to appreciate the righteousness of God. And the psalm reminds me um, of one of St. Patrick's most famous sayings. Um, it's called the St. Patrick's Breastplate, and it's also a prayer. And it was written, attributed to Patrick in the 4th, uh, 5th century. And um, it goes like this, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. Arise today, the creator of creation. And then all we can really ask for is for Christ to surround us, to bring us strength, and to be intimately woven into every aspect of our lives, in us, behind us, around us, beneath us, and above us. That is my prayer for you today.